Lenovo has been making some great strides in an era of dying PC sales. Lenovo has not only stayed afloat but have also managed to sell quite a few units. All this with the help of some really smart moves and products that put innovation before specs. So can they continue the trend with their 2013 lineup? We start first with the ThinkPad Helix. Aimed at business users, it looks like a business machine through and through. Sleek, classy and minimal in its design ethos and solid in its build quality. It also sports what Lenovo calls a rip and flip design, which means that you can rip off the screen and use it as a tablet. The screen is another highlight here, 11.6 inch IPS panel display with full HD resolution. And powering the screen is the third generation Ivy Bridge processors from Intel. You can opt for up to an Core i7 processor with 8GB of RAM, ensuring the performance is smooth throughout. Another neat little trick here are the cooling fans placed near the dock. When in tablet mode, the i7 processor will run at a slightly slower clock speed in comparison to when it's docked, not only saving battery but giving you more performance when it's docked. Overall, a powerful machine which can act as the ideal corporate companion. Next, we move on to the IdeaPad Yoga. Flaunting an attractive design which emulates the look of a book when closed, the Yoga is a versatile machine aimed at consumers who want a mix of beauty and power. The 13.3 inch 1600-900 screen is also an highlight with great viewing angles and plenty of screen real estate for your needs. The display can also be flipped 360 degrees and used as a slate or it can be folded into a tent which can be handy for presentations. Powering the Yoga is the Intel Ivy Bridge range. You can get a configuration of up to Core i7 with 8GB of RAM, ensuring you will never face sluggishness in day-to-day -day tasks. Lenovo has been making smartphones for a while now but have mostly relegated themselves to the Chinese market. We take a look at Lenovo's newest offering, the IdeaPhone K900. One of the first smartphones to be running a 2GHz dual-core Intel Atom processor, the K900 combines a powerful processor with remarkably thin design which uses a mixture of stainless steel and polycarbonate. It runs Android 4.1 with Lenovo's custom interface on top. The display is a 5.5-inch 1080p display which pushes up to 400 pixels per inch. A 13-megapixel camera rounds off the impressive offering which has everything in place for it to be a success. And now for something slightly different, the Idea Center Horizon. The Beast is a Windows 8 desktop. It packs up to an Intel Core i7 with 8GB of RAM, gives you an NVIDIA GeForce 620M graphics chip and comes Dolby Home Theater certified, rounding off its impressive audio-video capabilities with its gorgeous 27-inch Full HD display. This is a powerful machine, no doubt, but the real story here is how it's meant to be used. Lenovo touts this as a multi-user PC, or what can be more commonly known as a family PC. This PC though is multi-touch and packs Lenovo's own custom Aura skin on top of Windows 8 Pro. It also comes with various gaming accessories and a promise of an app store which will house customized games from EA, Fable Vision and Ubisoft to name a few. An optional stand can be used to mount the display vertically at a 90 degree angle to be used as something similar to Microsoft's Pixel Sense. This is a device that is clearly not for everyone, but what it does, it does well. Next, we sit down with the senior vice president and the worldwide CMO of Lenovo for a quick chat on Lenovo's strategies and their success in the emerging markets. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.